Can I respond to something relating to that, the Lebanon War? I looked at the book that he got this from and what the quote was from. Um, it sounds cold to say it, but war is tragic and civilians die. There is no war that this has not happened in, in the history of all of humankind. The statement that Israel might take care not to target civilians is not incompatible with a diary entry from someone who said they saw civilians getting killed. I think that sometimes we do a lot of weird games when we talk about international humanitarian law or laws that govern conflict, where we say things like civilians dying is a war crime or civilian homes or hospitals getting destroyed is necessarily a war crime or is necessarily somebody intentionally targeting civilians without making distinctions between military targets or civilian ones. I think that when we analyze different attacks or when we talk about the conduct of a military, I think it's important to understand, uh, it, like, prospectively from the unit uh, of analysis of the actual military committing the acts, what's happening and what are the decisions yeah. being made, rather than just saying retrospectively, oh, well, a lot of civilians died, not very many, you know, military people died, comparatively speaking, so uh, it must have been war crimes, especially when you've got another side, um, I'll fast forward to Hamas, that intentionally attempts to induce those same civilian numbers, because Hamas is guilty of any war crime that you would potentially accuse, and this is according to Amnesty International, people that Norm loves to cite, Hamas is guilty of all of these same war crimes, of them failing to take care of the civilian population, of them essentially utilizing human shields to try to fire rockets free from attacks. Essentially? Um, essentially, yes. If, uh, me... As in, I'm just saying that yeah. essentially, yeah, as in terms of how international law defines it, not how Amnesty International defines it, but Amnesty International describes times of human shielding, but they don't actually apply the correct international legal you standard. You don't know what's the correct I know, absolutely. international You no, haven't but, the no, I absolutely You do, haven't Norm. the correct. I absolutely I, I, I do. Think but, um, but I'm just saying, Wikipedia. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, believe it or not, Norm, the entire Geneva Convention is all on Wikipedia. It's a wonderful okay, website. You know but I'm just, saying, I'm just saying that on the Hamas side, if there's an attempt to induce this type of military activity, attempt to induce civilian harm, that it's not just enough to say like, well, here's a diary entry where a guy talks about how tragic See, these I attacks think the problem, are. I think the problem with, with, with your statement is that if you go back and listen to it, the first part of it is war is hell, civilians die. It's, it's a fact of life. And, and, and you state that in a very factual matter. Then when you start talking about Hamas, all of a sudden you've discovered morality and you've discovered condemnation and you've discovered intent. And, and, and you are unfortunately far from alone in this. I'll give you, I'll give you, you know who for me is a perfect example. Well, wait, hold on. Just in response, we don't need examples. So no, I, I, wait, the, the, the false equivalency of the two sides is astounding. When Hamas kills civilians in a surprise attack on October 7th, this isn't because they are attempting to target military targets and they happen to stumble into a giant festival of people that- Well, they did they happen to stumble into it. They so, did, but they're- they but, killed but, 300 Yeah, people. but, yes. they did, but when the, they yes. stumbled yes. into it, it wasn't yeah. an issue of trying to figure out a military target or not. They weren't failing in distinction. There wasn't a proportionality assessment done. It was just to kill civilians. Even the Amnesty International in 2008 and in 2014 and even today will Look, continue I don't to say think that there's, like I the types of attacks. I don't think you'll find anyone who will deny that Hamas has targeted civilians. Sure. You gave the example but there's of, a difference because of suicide bombings uh, during the Second Intifada. I mean, facts are facts. Sure. But and, I'm just saying that the Hamas targeting against civilians is different than the incidental loss of life that occurs when Israel does. How, you know, genocide is the intentional the mass murder. Genocide is an entirely separate claim. Yeah, right? but the idea that Israel is not in the business of intentionally targeting civilians, um, I know that's what we're supposed to believe. Um, but but the historical record stands no, um, no, that's very no, it clearly. I don't that's believe it does. Actually, You've written about well, it Well, oh, when you say historical, do you mean like in the 40s to the 60s? Or do you mean like I, I over the past? Like, the, like from the 30s of the last century to the 20s of this century. I, I just like to make, you know, you the way, the way you um, characterized it, I think the best example of that I've come across during this specific conflict is, is John Kirby. The White House spokesman. I've I've named him Tears Tosterone for a very good reason. Um, when he's talking about Palestinian civilian deaths, war is hell. You know, it's a fact of life. Get used to it. When he was confronted with Israeli civilian deaths on October seventh, he literally broke down but in tears. He understood that public. one is deliberate and one isn't. He understood that. No, that's what he tried to make us no, understand. No, no, he he's, he was speaking facts. The Hamas guys who attacked the kibbutzim, they, apart from the attacks on the military sites, when they attacked the kibbutzim, were out to kill civilians. Okay, let, and they killed let, let, family after okay. family, house after let's house. Say, the Israeli say. attacks on Hamas installations you know better. and okay. fire. You know I don't better. know better. Okay, no, you don't know Israeli pilots. Take, that's the problem. I'm, thank God. 
You know, um, you, no, you don't know Israeli I know, pilots. Thank God. They uh, believe that they are killing Hamasniks. They're given certain I'm sure they objectives, and I'm that's sure what they, they attack. It. And if the Hamas sure is hiding it. behind sure civilians, they civilians every die. Every time they target, as as every that. time they target a kid, I'm sure they believe it's Hamas. They when they kid, kids? yeah, when they, yeah, when they killed the four kids in the, on the, uh, they believe. Yeah, they I know they Hamasniks. believe it, even though they were you diminutive size. You know, even though they were diminutive size. that angle, you don't see the size. No, they saw it. You don't see the size. Let's leave it aside. Oh, I know here. what he's quoting here, here, but yeah. you've lied about this particular yeah. instance in the uh, past. Mr. Those kids weren't just on the beach, as is often stated in articles. Those kids were literally coming out of a previously identified Hamas compound oh, yeah, that they had operated from. They literally Mr. did. You Borelli, can Google it. You can Mr. Google Borelli, it. With all Mr. Due respect, with all due respect, yeah. you're such a fantastic moron. It's uh -huh. terrifying. That, that wharf was filled with journalists. There were tens, scores of journalists that was an old fisherman's shack. What are you talking about? It's so painful. Hamas naval. It's so painful to listen to this idiocy. And to but be clear, on the other side, you're implying okay. that a strike was okayed okay. on the Israeli okay. side where they said, we're just going to kill four hey, Palestinian hey, children today for no hey, reason. Hey, Do you believe that? You know, Do you, you believe know, that? Do you okay. believe that? Let's right, right. Okay. Okay. Do you, you believe there was a hotel okay. of journalists. Do you here, think that they were out to kill four children? Here we go. We'll never answer that question. I will answer the question. Pilots were out to kill four children. I will even answer And it was a proof because that was a strike. That was a drone strike. So it was a proof all the you way up the chain you, okay. that we're going to kill children want, today. Okay. We're going to kill Palestinian children You want children me to today. answer or do you want your motor mouth to go? Okay, answer. In 2018, <laughs> there was the Great March of Return in Gaza. By all reckonings of human rights organizations and journalists who were there, it was overwhelmingly nonviolent. It but organized resent, by the Hamas. What whoever organized, He's organized it, by it, Satan. Let's start Satan. with yeah. Hamas. Okay, no, by, Satan. Yeah. I, I agree. Let's let's go for the big one, the big Megillah. It's Satan. Okay, overwhelmingly organized, overwhelmingly nonviolent. Resembled at the beginning they the first bombs in, here and the there, first Intifada. They represent the first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, not bombs, but they tried to they're, make okay. holes in the fence. Okay, okay, obviously. Let's continue. Yeah. So, but I'm not sure Israel behaved morally in that okay, respect. Okay, no, 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 I, I, okay. No, no, no. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm willing to grant please, you. That. Please, please. I'm willing allow to grant me, you. Allow me to. You don't have to pursue allow it. Me, okay. I'm willing to grant Allow me, allow me to finish. I, I don't know anything about this. I'd like to. Hear okay. It. So, as you know, along the Gaza perimeter, there was Israel's best trained snipers. Correct? I don't know, best trained. There were uh, snipers. Fine. Snipers. Okay. All right. <laughs> Because, hey, report. laugh. It's hilarious. The story is so funny. You're lying about it. The Great so Return had aspects okay. of violence to it. Okay. Before even the UN okay. says it themselves. Okay. 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 <laughs> but you, you only collect you're, what you're, the UN says that you like. You see, the problem, Mr. Morelli, is you don't know the ling English language. You don't I can read yeah, from the UN hear, website itself. In regards say, to the Great March of Return, they said, while well, the idiotic, vast majority of protesters have acted in a peaceful yeah. manner, no, during most saying. protests, did dozens did have approached the fence attempting to damage it, said, burning fires, throwing stones, and Molotov cocktails towards Israeli forces, okay. and flying incendiary okay. kites and balloons okay. into Israeli territory. Yeah. The latter results yeah, in extensive damage to agricultural land and nature reserves inside Israel and risk the lives of Israeli civilians. Some incidents of shooting and throwing of explosives are also Talk fast, talk fast. So I'm just people trying to think that you're coherent. I'm just reading from the okay. UN. Yeah, but you see, I know you like them you got, sometimes. You got Only the when they agree with you, though. You got the months wrong. You got the months wrong. We're talking about the beginning in March 30th, 2018. You just described that March is okay. mostly peaceful. Okay, allow me to finish. So there were the snipers, okay? Now, you find it so far-fetched. Israelis purposely, deliberately targeting civilians? That's such a far-fetched idea. An overwhelmingly nonviolent march. What did the international it wasn't investigation? Wasn't a march. It was a campaign. Yeah, which whatever went you on want for, to call it. for months. Whatever you want to call for it. months. Yeah. What did the UN investigation find? Well, he just read it. it to you. I read the report. I don't read things off of those machines. I read the report. What did it find? Brace yourself. You thought it was so funny. The idea of IDF. Uh, targeting civilians, it found, go look this up on your machine. I already know what you're going to say. You're going to say it found that only children, one or two of them were, were justified children, killings. Targeted journalists, targeted medics, and here's the funniest one of all. 
It's so hilarious. They targeted disabled people who were 300 meters away from the fence and just standing by trees. This is true. If, what if it's is true. true. Mm -hmm. if what By the way, uh, just quick pause. Mm -hmm. uh, I think everything was fascinating to listen to, except the mention of hilarious. Nobody finds any of this mm -hmm. hilarious. And if and any of us are laughing, it's not at the suffering of civilians or suffering of anyone. It's at the uh, the obvious joyful camaraderie in the room. So I'm I'm enjoying it and also the joy of learning. So thank you. Can we talk about the targeting civilian thing a little bit? I think there's like an important uh, underlying, yeah. not necessarily that. I just, I think it's important to understand. Yeah, I think it's important to understand there's like three different things here that we need to think about. So one is a policy of killing civilians. Do we, so I would ask the other side, I'll, I'm going to ask all three because I know there won't be a short answer. Do you think there is a policy top down from the IDF to target civilians? That's one thing. Yeah. A second thing is. He is says yes. When I under, yeah, sure, okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay, Manson but then, then the second thing is, or there's, there's two distinctions I want to draw between. I think Benny would say this. I would say this. Um, I am sure undoubtedly there have been cases where IDF soldiers for no good reason have targeted and killed Palestinians that they should not have done, that would be prosecutable as war crimes, as defined by and the Rump Statute and the And ICC. some have been prosecuted. Yeah, and, I, and I'm absolutely you sure. And your three, practically yep. none. I'm sure, I'm sure, According I'm sure. To you and your some, books, I'm sure, none. I'm sure that we would all agree for soldiers that that happens. But I think that it's important I think that it's important that when we talk about military strikes, when we talk about things especially involving mm -hmm. bombings or drone attacks, these are things that are signed off by multiple different layers of command, by multiple people involved in an operation, including intelligence gathering, including weaponeering, and there also have typically lawyers involved. When you make the claim that an IDF soldier shot uh, a Palestinian, those three people, the three hostages that came up with white flags and something horrible happened, I think that's a fair statement to make, and I think a lot of criticism is deserved. But when you make the statement that four children were killed by a strike, the claim that you're making, yeah, the, cl yes. the claim that you're making, the claim that you're making is that multiple levels of the IDF signed off I never, on just I, killing. I have no idea what That's great. If you don't understand the process, then let me educate well, you. you. I can tell you. I do the understand process. the process. I'm telling you. You're, you're, I'm trying to really, explain you right now. The IDF. Yes. I'm, no, I, it's you're basic military. You can ask idea. anybody that's talking about. Aside from Wikipedia, you can, can you yes, tell you me what your knowledge people, of you the idea is? You can talk to people who work Wikipedia, in the military. What's your knowledge of you the idea? What? Audience, can look this up. Do you can think I, that? Do you think that? Do you think that bombing and strikes are decided by one person in the field? Do you think one person? Can I respond to airplane or a drone strike? Can I respond? pilot doesn't do it on yes, his own. Can I respond? Yes, strikes have entire apparatuses that are designed to figure out how to strike and who to strike. So when you say that four children are targeted, you're saying that a whole apparatus is trying to murder four Palestinian children. Make my argument Which is better a than me. Ridiculous they, argument. Because oh, really, that it's impossible at the command level. It's impossible at the command level. But you said that they couldn't have done it at the bottom if it weren't also you at the top. To, you don't understand so, the strength oh, of the I claim that you're please. making. You're with saying that from a respect, top down level uh, that no, lawyers, no, multiple no, no, commanders, and all these people Bernal, signed off. Do not tell me on what I don't understand. Or Palestinians. It's true. It's true. I don't spend my nights on Wikipedia. I read books. I admit that as a, a signal. Waste of time. Yeah, as, 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 as time I know, right books are a waste of time. With all due regard, well, there. Well, you, they are. The only I, thing you take from them are two or three quotes that you use. I completely respect. Yeah. I completely respect the fact, and I'll say it on the air. As much as I find totally disgusting what's come of your politics, a lot of the books are excellent, and I'll even tell you because I'm not afraid of saying it. Whenever I have to check on the basic fact, the equivalent of going to the Britannica, I go to your books. I know you got a lot of the facts right. Benny Moore's books I would for never, the I would never say books are a waste of time. And it's regrettable to you that you got strapped with a partner who thinks that all the wisdom, time. all, all the wisdom. Books. He didn't say they're yeah. a waste of time. I, I'd like to respond yes, to what you were saying. Yeah. Um, the, the, I think the question that, that we're trying to answer, I, I think, think you don't understand Israel, you know, I, uh, Neither let me, let me finish. Really please. understands Israel. I think we're now all, it works. I think we're all agreed yeah. that Palestinians have deliberately targeted civilians, whether we're talking about Hamas and Islamic Jihad today or I, I previously. Prefer word, I prefer the word murdered and raped rather than targeted. Target is too soft oh, for what the Hamas it. did. I'm okay. With I'm that. not. I'm not talking about. I'm um, talking about this now. Yeah, but I'm. I'm trying to answer his question. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, historically, there is um, substantial evidence that Palestinians have 
targeted uh, civilians. Whether whether it's been incidental or systematic is a different discussion. I don't want to get into that now. For some reason, there seems to be a huge debate about whether any Israeli has ever sunk so low as as to target a civilian. I don't no, know. we've agreed. Both we just agreed. I've just said that, that, that this has happened, happened here. Okay. And, and I think we've agreed on okay. that. Okay. I think um, what we're saying is it's not policy, which is what you guys okay. are implying that they kill civilians deliberately. If I understand you correctly, you're basically making the claim that none of these attacks could have happened without going through an entire chain of command. For strike cells that are involved in like drone attacks yes. or plane attacks, yes. or yes. My understanding yes. of the Israeli military, and you could perhaps um, you've served in it, you would know better. It's actually a fairly chaotic organization. No, no, that's not true, especially not the Air Force. Extremely, extremely organized. The Air Force well, works in a very organized fashion. As he says, with lawyers, a chain of command, and ultimately the pilot drops the bomb where he's told to it, drop it. In Protective I, I, Edge, was that 200, 200 strikes in like 60 seconds, I think? I think at the opening of Protective Edge? Like, the, yeah, the coordination between- You're talking about 2008. Uh, for, I think Protective yeah. Edge was 2014. But I'm just okay. saying that the coordination in the military is, is pretty well, tight. Well, my, my understanding of the Israeli military- It's very organized. Especially, it's is, very is, organized. is that it's quite chaotic, and there's no, no, also no, no, a no, lot of- nonsense testimonies from Israel, but be that as it may, okay, I'm, I'm prepared to accept um, both of your contentions that it's a, a highly organized Especially and disciplined Air force. force. Air Force, under any scenario, is going to be more organized than the other branches. And and you're saying such a strike would have been inconceivable. Um, well, I'm not necessarily or, saying inconceivable. I'm just okay. saying that like that would have required okay, like, the, the, you're, you're murderous basically, intent for so many people. Yes, you're, I don't think good evidence has been presented to okay. say that that's the your, your basic claim is that we, sh we, we it would be fair to assume that such a strike could have only been carried out with multiple um, uh, levels of authorization and, and, and signing off. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's accept that for the sake of argument. Um, we have now seen Incident after incident after incident after incident where entire families are vaporized in, in single strikes. Who is We've in the families? Who lives in the house? Family inside? members. No, family or members. next to the house family in which members. these uh, families are We killed. have seen incident after... Uh, do you know that Hamasniks weren't in that house? Do you, do you know you that know their ammunition were. dumps yeah. weren't Why in those houses? Why do I have houses? to prove a negative? You're saying that they deliberately targeted yeah, well, families. You know, if Israel you... wanted to kill civilians in, in, in Gaza, they could have killed 500,000 by now with the number of strikes they've done. And therefore, and the fact that they've actually, only killed a certain only, small number. 30,000 is a small number. Small yeah, number in proportion. You consider 30,000 a small number. in proportion yeah, over four months probably is, is an indication only, that it's targeted and that there are Hamas targets in these places. Okay. So I've I've given 12, you know thousand children is only, and if that's the case, why is it? Yeah, only? you said only, only. Though uh, Professor Morris, here's a question for you: If we take every combat zone in the world for the past three years, every combat zone in the world in Vietnam, okay, the Americans killed I said, a million I'm not people. About well, Vietnam. they could have killed forty million. I wasn't. Yeah, well, I was again in the anti-war movement. So don't the strap me. A million people uh, of fine, Europe. fine. And and uh, thirty million Russians were killed. So in during World War II, so everything else is irrelevant. Okay. Not here's a question, uh, Stick to Professor Mars. Professor Mars, here's a question. It's very perplexing. If you take every combat zone in the world for the past three years, and you multiply the number of children killed by four. Every combat zone in the world, you get Gaza. Okay? So when you what say- What is that first, supposed to prove? Okay, I'm going to I'm wait, wait, tell you, just you're relying, shut up. You're relying and I'll on tell Hamas you, numbers. You're, no, I'm not relying. Numbers I'm not relying on the numbers true. that everybody you know that. else, I'm relying on the numbers. Sure, even if we take the numbers else, though, what does that prove? Those okay. are Hamas numbers. Okay. Okay. Which may not fine, be true. Fine. They could invent any, anything because you I know think, that they are I a mendacious we, I think organization. We all, I know mendacious. Believe me. You like words. Mendacious, mendacious as in mendacious the Israeli Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Okay. So here's the thing. You say they could have killed 500,000, but they only killed only. That's your word. I'm no, they I'm only killed you, 30,000. You believe that they deliberately so here, targeted here, civilians. They okay. could have, would have killed many, no, many you more. See, the fact is Mar that Professor they don't deliberately Morris, target civilians. Professor Morris, 
For a his, and you don't understand for Israeli a historian, society. I don't, don't want understand to understand Israeli society. You want to know the truth? I don't want to. I don't want to get inside their heads. That's the problem. Ninety percent of a good, a good, a good, a good <laughs> historian, a good historian yeah. tries to get into the heads I, yeah. of there's a the, limit. the various there's a limit. protagonists. There's a limit. When ninety percent, when ninety percent of Israelis think that Israel is using enough or too little force in Gaza, I don't want to get inside that head. 40% think that Israel is using insufficient force in Gaza. I don't want to get inside that head. I don't want to get inside the head of people who think they're using insufficient force Historians against the population, no. against the population, half of which is children. I don't want to get inside that head. But here is the point, because your partner wants to know the point. You don't understand political constraints. One of your ministers said, let's drop an atomic bomb on <laughs> you Gaza. You think he really meant that? He well, said it three you, No, no, no. It was, hey, it was said in a sort of a no, very no, questionable he way. After, he didn't say they should Professor drop an atomic bomb. He said it the day I'm not supporting him. He's an idiot. Morris, this minister, other, this other, this other, minister is a mini other, yeah, messianic none idiot. Other than but, but, but he didn't not, say drop an atomic none bomb. Under, none other than Israel's chief historian. The famed, justifiably famed Benny Morris thinks we should be dropping nuclear weapons on Iran. Iran has for years, its leaders for years have said we should destroy Israel. Mm -hmm. You agree with that? They've said we should destroy Israel. Israel must be destroyed. Have you, is that correct? This is what the Iranian leaders have been saying since Khomeini. I would say Iranian leaders have sent mixed messages. Okay, okay. But <laughs> some of them have said, including Barelli, Khamenei and If you don't know Khomeini. their evidence, if you don't wait, know wait, their wait, evidence, wait. why are you laughing? This is like skepticism. It's very funny. <laughs> it's funny Iran because... Iran that supports it's, Hezbollah okay, and the Houthis okay. and Hamas. Oh, yeah. They want wait, 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 wait. To the extent that the Houthis it's are trying... It's complicated. To the extent that the Houthis are trying to stop the genocide in Gaza... There is no genocide. They have the right to attack civilian ships. I, support I know you selectively the support international no law when it I agrees support. with you. Okay. And then when it doesn't, you decide okay. to throw international law to the wind. There's no genocide in, in Gaza.